and welcome to week 13. This is Ludmilla Adams from Fashion Chalkboard. You're watching one tip of the series 52 weeks of fashion sketching in Adobe Illustrator. And this week we are going to dive a little bit deeper into clipping masks. Um, so here's just a basic sketch and then I put something interesting in here. And um, some questions and conversations were sparked with last week's intro to drawing inside, which is kind of like creating a clipping mask. And um, I have some advanced examples right here on what can actually work with the clipping mask and what cannot work with a clipping mask. Um, remember, you can download this file so you can follow along in the free member area of Fashion Chalkboard. The link is below the video. And let's begin. Here we go. So here is a sketch and I'm going to duplicate this sketch with option drag or alt drag twice. And I'm going to right click or control click on a Mac and ungroup. Once again, right click, ungroup or control click, ungroup. And then also let's release the clipping mask by right clicking. And what I want you guys to pay attention to here is that the top object is a vector and the bottom object can be multiple vectors or as I'm going to show you, it could be a raster image, anything that you scan, bring in. And I'm going to go to object rasterize. So let's keep the background transparent. And there we have now something mimicking a photograph that we could bring in. The rules for clipping mask are that you want to put the vector part. That is the shape that you want on top. And then you can shift click on the part behind it. And if you can't grab it because it's maybe small, you can click and drag and kind of highlight it like that. And you want to have two pieces, right? And then you're going to press command N7 or control N7. And that creates the mask. And you can notice right away that the clipping mask, the shape, is still there, but it lost its color. So I'm going to just take my eyedropper tool and pick up a color that I want in there. So that's then my clipping mask right here. And then the same thing over here. Here we have multiple pieces. And these multiple pieces work in the same manner. We can just put the shape we want on top. Let's just do something fun. Let's take a shape of a star. Let's put that on top. It's a vector shape. Command 7 or Control 7. And now it's in there. And if I wanted to, I can also put a different color there, here, there. And then once again, right click release. If we don't want that shape, replace that shape, maybe select components. I'm making a mistake on purpose. So let's select that, see what happens. So if that happens, if there's like a weird result like this, hmm, it is probably because you didn't send these objects to the back and the actual shape needs to be on top. And once again, select them, command seven. This is only part one of what I want to teach you today. So part two is going to be a little bit more advanced. 